everyone, it's Alana and welcome back to my YouTube channel and to a brand new video. So today's video is obviously, as you can see, got a little bit of a different format. And so today is going to be kind of like a bit of a QA, and a a bit of a get to know me. Um, I've got a few questions. I put a sticker on my Instagram story. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me over there. All the links are in the description or on my end card. Um, and also... I asked you guys to ask me any questions you had at the end of my last video so I'm gonna answer the ones that I got um, a lot of them are from one of my someone who supported my channel from the very start um, Susan Elizabeth but I also have a few other ones from other people um, dotted here and there so I'm gonna try and answer them all as best I can um, so yeah let's just get straight into it as you can see I'm also doing a build in the background of this I'm actually rebuilding Magnolia Blossom Park Magnolia Park I've forgotten what it's called but you know what I mean the park in Willow Creek I just wanted to give it like a little bit of an update I've never really like rebuilt a park so I thought it would be fun and kind of as part of the series that I'm doing um, reimagining the world add some more um, skill building items add some more activities for every generation because Often in the parks, there isn't actually that much to do. There's just like a singular play park and a pond. So I wanted to kind of add a few different things in there. I apologize if I'm looking down a lot. It's because I'm reading all the questions off of my screen, um, but I, I'm gonna try and look at the camera. It's just, it's just trying to reprogram my brain into looking up here instead of at my screen, so. Yeah, please do excuse that. Okay, so getting straight into the questions. The first one is, what are your goals for May? So when I actually got this question, I kind of just thought, oh my God, I literally have no goals. What is going on? And then I realized that there are a few that are just blatantly obvious and I don't know why I didn't think of them. So as for the channel, I'd love to reach 200 subscribers. I think I have 141 as of now. So that's like 59 I need to get um, to reach 200, which is a lot in a month. So I don't know if I'm gonna manage to reach reach that but you know dream big and all that so that's my that's my goal for the channel oh my goodness my hair <laughs> it's just looking worse and worse in it should we put the headset on I feel so weird having like my hair out like <laughs> I always have a headset on and I also kind of have headset hair from wearing a headset all day but it's fine it's fine you guys you guys can deal with it. So yeah, that's my goal for the channel to reach 200 subs. I don't know if I'm gonna do it, but it's always good to dream big and I'd love to just kind of expand my audience and you know, make some friends maybe over YouTube, people who have the same interests as I do in The Sims and love it as much as I do. That would be really fun to kind of, you know, make some friends. As my personal life, I would say that my main goal is actually to learn how to roller skate. So recently I ordered some roller skates and they're coming tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna try and go outside and practice roller skating as many days as I can. I would ideally love to do it every day, but I do have a quite a busy schedule of college and work and school and dance and YouTube. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and do it every day, like maybe at least for just like an hour or half an hour, even if it's just like in the kitchen. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try my best to learn how to roller skate. Um, I would love to, by the end of May, know how to roller skate smoothly forward, backwards, maybe learn a few tricks. Um, and also I'd like to document that roller skating journey journey and progression somehow. Uh, I don't know if you guys would be interested on this channel. If you would, I would be happy to post a video of it. But um, if not, maybe I could update you on Instagram or over on TikTok. If you guys are interested, then let me know and I'll definitely figure out a way to show you guys. But if not, it's chill. This is a Sims channel. So yeah, but as for like specific goals when it comes to roller skating, um, I don't really have specific goals because obviously everybody learns at their own pace and I don't want to put pressure on myself so that I get discouraged if I don't meet a certain thing. Like I'm not going to name any specific tricks. I just mainly want to le learn how to go forward and backwards, turn around, stop, things like that, um, especially this month. So yeah, that's my goal for myself this month. Okay, so the next question is when did I start playing The Sims now? I honestly couldn't tell you the exact date. But according to Origin, I downloaded The Sims 4 in 2014. So that is a long, long time of playing Sims. And I did play Sims 3 before that, so I couldn't even tell you how long it's been. Um, I was born in 2003, if that kind of explains to you how long I've been playing The Sims. Um, and somehow, I still i am not bored of it. <laughs> Everybody is so shocked. And don't get me wrong, when it comes to The Sims, I have had periods of time where I just don't play any Sims, but I always come back to it. And especially recently, um, when I could start affording to buy myself packs more often, 
it's even more engaging and I'm surprised that I managed off of the base game for so long without getting bored because I didn't even realise that Sims could like have as many different things to do as it can with packs because I only ever played the base game until very very recently, especially considering how long I've been playing this game. I'm not even sure when Sims 4 came out but I remember asking for it for Christmas and I got the deluxe edition for Christmas and yeah. That's when my addiction started. <laughs> I don't know, there's something about The Sims that's just like so fun to me. You know, making little families, developing their personalities. And also I have to say that I've never really stuck to families. Um, I'd always just make a Sim and then get mad at them and just delete the folder. Um, until recently when I started the Legacy Challenge and that's when I kind of started sticking to families and building their skills up and things like that. So yes. <laughs> Next question is, do I play Sims often? Yes, <laughs> every day pretty much. When you play Sims off screen, what do you do? Um, when I play Sims off screen, it's usually either like giving townies makeovers for like different challenges, especially the legacy challenge. Every time I get bored, I just go and give a townie a makeover or, you know, develop their, develop their life a bit more. So maybe get them a boyfriend or a girlfriend or get them to have a child, something like that. Just so that um, each family has a little bit more personality. That's definitely something I like to do. Although, I have to be careful because sometimes off camera um, sims in my actual challenge you know their life progresses and then I have to like explain to you guys what happened so I need to chill with that it's kind of a it's kind of a problem sometimes oh my goodness I've been talking for so long and I've barely answered any questions I also have kind of a current household uh, but I don't really play them that often if you guys are interested in seeing a current household I can I can show you them but they're not really that developed yet because I only recently started um, playing with them. Next question, are you gonna do other gameplays? Well, you see, I, I'd i love to. I really would love to do other gameplays, but a lot of the other games I play out with friends and those videos can be kind of hard to edit because I can't control what comes out of their mouths. Um, so yeah, I did do like a Goal Fit video a while ago, which was pretty fun. Um, and I tried to film a Phasmophobia, like kind of a little mini series of Phasmophobia, um, but it was super hard to edit. And I, I'm just gonna be honest with you just gave up because it took hours and hours and hours and hours like it took days to even get like two minutes into the video because I had like four different people and um they were all from different perspectives but if you guys are really interested in seeing like that kind of thing like different gameplays and things like that gameplay threes do let me know because I would love to do it like there are a lot there are a lot of other games that I really enjoy and would love to share with you guys but I'm always wary that this channel um, is primarily sims even though it wasn't designed to just be sims it has evolved to that so yeah definitely let me know if you're interested in other playthroughs but we'll just see how it goes I guess so kind of stemming from that will you do a university gameplay um I guess so I mean if that's something you'd like I would be interested in that uh i do kind of want Aspen from my legacy challenge to go to university since I'm pretty sure it's Aspen. It could be Ella. I think it's Aspen. Um, her aspiration is the academic one. So I will definitely have a little bit of university kind of pl gameplay in that challenge, but you know, we'll see how it goes. But if you'd like me to just start a completely different let's play, I can definitely do that. I mean, obviously you have to bear in mind that if I add more let's plays, it means I can't upload the other ones as often because I'll have to kind of work my way through. So yeah, I'm always wary of starting too many let's plays, but at the same time, it does sound fun and I haven't really played university all the way through yet. So that could be an option. Next question. What do you do in your free time now? I have a few different hobbies sometimes is an issue because I don't have enough time to do all the things I don't want to do um but my main hobbies are obviously YouTube sims things like that obviously I'm still full-time college student at sixth form I study psychology media and English literature <laughs> that took way too long to process that also outside of school I have a job it's just kind of like a little uh, weekend job you know it's just just to get a little bit a little bit of money coming in sewing sewing is one of my hobbies i haven't done it in a while though because obviously due to the pandemic shops have been closed so the fabric shop has been closed and i haven't been able to get any for a while so i'm all a bit rusty on that but 
I do really enjoy sewing, especially things like, um, things for my little cousin. Like I love making her little princess dresses and things like that. And then the other one that's like pretty much the main one and I've been doing it since I was very young is um, dancing. So I used to do ballet, tap, modern and singing. Singing isn't dancing obviously, but it's at the, at the same school. Um, and recently I switched to just do, to focus on ballet and tap. Um, because, did I say tap? I think I said tap. Um, yeah, I recently switched to do just ballet and tap because I'm doing a lot more ballet now because I'm on point So I do like a fair few um, Ballet lessons a week as well as PBT um, if you don't know what PBT is Google it. <laughs> it's kind of with a yoga ball and it's just like strengthening techniques for ballet. I'm not the best dancer I'm, I'm really not I'm really not very good But it's something that I really enjoy and I, I like to I like to work on that in my free time Okay, so uh, next question would you ever do the not so berry challenge at the moment? I don't have get to work so I can't but I definitely would do it if I had get to work So yeah, I hope that answers all of your questions. I'm now going to move on to the ones over on Instagram Okay so I'm back. It's a couple of hours later and um, I had to take a quick break but I'm here to answer the Instagram questions. I checked on Instagram and it turns out that most of them are from my friends and I can't really answer them because they would, you know, they're, they're kind of personal. Uh, I have one question though and that is if I could buy any materialistic thing and money wasn't a problem and um, what would I buy and I don't know if I was being like actually realistic and sensible I would say a house with a nice big garden somewhere that isn't in the UK um, that you know I could live in I'd just buy it outright and I wouldn't have to worry about like anything like a mortgage or anything. But yeah if I was going for something a little bit smaller I'd probably just say like a brand new PC build or something like that um, but if I really had any amount of money it would definitely be like a house and a car or something but anyways that's the end of this video I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have any more questions don't be afraid to ask them in the comments and I'll get around to answering them all I'm sure um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one bye